going on everybody so what we're going to be doing in today's session is we're going to be creating a strategy together now the reason why we're going to do this is because i want to show you all that we cannot blame our strategy for not getting the results that we want trading is about being consistent over a long period of time and then getting the results far too many traders focus on the here and now as opposed to focusing on executing their strategy systematically over a period of time and then getting the results so today's session is to prove to you it doesn't matter what strategy you're trading as long as you are consistent you are disciplined you are patient you will get the results because majority of strategies out there do work whether you've paid for a mentor to teach you one or whether you've just looked on YouTube. So this is the illustration today. So let's build this up together. The simplest way to trade is obviously trading in the directional bias of the market, whether it be up or down. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be identifying uptrends or downtrends in its simplest form and at its earliest stages or at its latest stages. It doesn't matter. We're going to be avoiding market structures that are going sideways. And because this is going to be random, we're not going to be using any other time frames. We're only going to be using a one to two risk toward ratio so that we make sure that we can take advantage of the move at its earliest possible point in terms of its push phase so that we don't encounter any exhaustions and we make sure that we get the results that we want. To make this fair, what we're going to be looking to do is take 10 trades in total so that we can allow the numbers game to play out in our favor. So we're not going to be focusing on a trade here and now. We're going to be calculating the results at the end to see what's happening. And then how are we going to take these trades? We're going to be looking for bullish or bearish candles to the upside or downside in key areas in the market. We're going to be identifying double tops, double bottoms, lower highs, higher lows. And we're also going to be looking for those wick rejections. So we're going to be looking for uptrends, downtrends, avoiding sideways moving markets, 10 trades in total with a one to two risk reward ratio. So I've crunched the screen here so that it's random and I'm just going to keep going back, 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 back. And let's just stop here. Let's get the tool and let's mark this level here. OK, so what I can clearly see, first and foremost, this is going to be trade number one. I can see the market structure is to the downside phase of this market is a push phase. So I need an exhaustion phase in this market or I need some sort of double top or a break of this structure to indicate continued bearish pressure. So I'm going to mark this up as a break of structure. I can see the wick rejections in terms of taking this trade. It's too late now because obviously we've just started. So we're going to wait for the next move. Let's see what happens. So we have a strong push to the downside. I'm looking for those wick rejections in this market for sales only. So now I see here an area in the market where price is in a push phase, exhaustion phase. We have a level in the market where price has attempted to push up for quite some time. We do have a nice wick rejection from this level. Let's take this as trade number one in and around this level. We're going to go for a one to two risk reward ratio. Forget the pip size. We're not focusing on pips right now. We're just focusing on taking these trades and then we're going for a one to two risk reward ratio. So trade number one, let's mark this down. I don't know the time that we're taking this trade, but that's not the point. We're here to take 10 trades in total. So let's see what happens. So our first trade is a stop loss. So with the market's behavior moving up to moving back to the upside like this, um, I'm going to say now that I'm looking for buys. We have a lower high area where price failed to break for a very long period of time and we never went down. And now we have this strong bullish pressure. So for this moment, I'm going to be looking for buys with those wick rejections. Here we have one and two. We have retested this previous area in the market. So I'll say that I'm happy to take this trade. Um, this candle has closed here so we'll take the trade from this level with a stop loss below the structure again we're going for a one to two risk toward ratio trade this will be our second one on the list so we have a break above structure and a retest let's see what happens with this one okay job done so this is one win so now it's safe to say that we are still looking for buys and at the moment we're one loss one win let's continue with this Next trade, looking for those wick rejections. This is not enough. There is too much bearish pressure at the moment. So let's continue to hold tight and wait to see what happens here. Uh, are we going to get any more bearish pressure? This is kind of moving sideways now. What I can see in the air on this market is prices failing to break above. If I get a nice candle to the downside, which I do, it's too late now. I can't take this trade. This is way too much of a push phase. But what I can identify in the market is we had a break of the structure to the upside. We now have a break of the structure to the downside. So I'm going to be looking for sells only for trade number three. If we have that exhaustion, that's what I need to see. The exhaustion. Um, I think it's safe to say we can take this trade. We have a strong push phase in the market. Again, price is failing to break above for a long period of time. We do have an area where we may not break, but 
we're not here to take perfect trades. We're here to do play the numbers game. So let's say this trade with a stop loss below structure. Sorry, a stop loss above structure and then go for a one to two risk to reward ratio trade. And here we can see those wick rejections. So this is looking good. And now I'm expecting the market to go down. So this is going down, going down and boom. Okay, very good. So that's another win in the bag for us. Let's continue with this. It's clear to see that the market is sell bias. So I'm only looking for sales. We have our key levels put in already. We can see the structure's changed. Again, we're having these wick rejections at this level. Mm, nah. So we're going to wait patiently again for this pullback lower high. This is a strong candle to the downside. We have broken the structure. I do feel confident to take this trade. The only thing is look at our stop loss range. We're losing so much range here. So I'm going to remove this. I do expect the next candle to go down. Yeah, exactly. So let's just wait for a pullback now, a lower high. We we now have another key level here in the market. So as long as we don't break above this, we're good to go for sales. Um, this is pretty good. Let's take this trade. So we've attempted to push up. We failed. We have our stop loss above the level. Look here and price is failing to close above. So let's continue with this. This is trade number four. We're going for our one to two risk toward ratio trade. And let's see what happens. Nice strong push to the downside. Uh, okay. Oh yes, fantastic. So that's trade number four. Let's move on to trade number five. Again, we're still sell bias. Clearly the market is going down. So let's be patient. We're in a push phase. We need the exhaustion phase, wick rejection. This is indicating some sort of bullish pressure now. So if we continue higher and we make a higher low of this structure, well, there you go. Make a higher low now of this structure. We can look for buying opportunities, one wick rejection, not enough, not enough. Okay, so now we've had this breakout of the structure level in the market where price is failing to break above. What I want to see now is a pullback lower high or double top of this level to look for continued sales on this market. So let's see what happens. One week rejection. Now we have the pullback. So we, we have a change in behavior right now, which is bullish. So let's see if we stay below that previous level. We don't, we have the break. So now we're going to continue to look for buys because now we've broken this level and taken out. We couldn't take these buys at this level because you know what? We will still sell bias thinking that this might be the lower high. So now I'm looking for wick rejections to the top. As long as we don't break below this structure now, we're good for buys. So we have one wick rejection. Okay, not the second, not the second. Mm. I could call this trade a buying opportunity. The structure is actually up, which is looking good for me. Um, I can also see that we have these wick rejections and this trade, we're going to get a nice stop loss. So if ever in the future, we want to take advantage of a bigger range for buying opportunities, we can, but just for this exercise, we're only going to be going for one to two. So let's continue. This is trade number five, I do believe. Let's see what happens. Okay. Stop loss, one stop loss on this trade. Let's continue with the way price has just violated the structure. I'm going to be looking for sales now. Um, I can see that the bulls, the bears have pushed and broke below. We are, we are crushing the structural level low. So I'm looking for sales now again. Whoa. Um, pull back lower highs. Let's go. Give me some wick rejections. One, two, that's a gap in the market. So we can't trade this. Let's continue. We're looking for trade number six to reject this level. This looks good, but the range is going to be increased, but we have attempted to break above and failed. We are in a sell by structure. It is clear. So let's go ahead and just take this trade at the low stop loss above. Again, the range is kind of big, but stop making excuses. Rocks, just take the trade one to two risk toward ratio. <sighs> Oi. Oi. Anyway, let's go for it. Okay. There you go. When your, <laughs> when your gut says, don't take the trade, don't take the trade guys, lesson learned. Okay. So the range was too big. We should have just avoided it. But anyway, what we're doing now, um, we are looking at the moment for buys. The way price is broken and violated its previous structure, looking for a higher low level in the market with these wick rejections. We have one, two, and now we have bullish counter to the upside. Again, range will be too big for that. So we need a pullback lower high in this market. Uh, pull back higher low on this market sorry for a buying opportunity now the market's gone again pull back higher low and we'll take this trade it's buy bias market we can clearly see that one two okay let's go for the kill so we're taking a buy now beautiful beautiful indication of price failing to break below structure stop loss below the structure and let's go for our one to two risk reward ratio trade so now i believe we're sitting at let's just check the stats here we have three wins and free stop losses. So let's continue with this. Give me the money, baby. Give me the money, baby. 
give me the money. What another win on the back. So we're sitting at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades, three more to go. We're looking for buying opportunities on this market, buying opportunities. Now, if we had a wick rejection here that wasn't as strong as this, because now the range is pushed and as we're in the market's in a push phase, we can't buy this right now, even if it goes up. So what we need to look for now is a higher low. Again, we're continuing to push up. Um, wick rejection. Mm, wick rejection. I'm not feeling this. The reason why is the market's pushed higher, but we just have to take the trade. So let's see one more wick rejection. Nah, one more wick rejection. Nope. So let's see if we smash past these structure level lows. If we do this right now, then I'll be happy to look for sells. Give me something more clear. So here we have structure to the upside, failed to break above previous structure. I think it's safe to say we've made a double top now and we've started to break below previous structures. We're looking for sells. Give me another wick rejection. Give me another wick rejection. Now, nah, no wick rejections, but we are going down. Okay, so let's look for these wick rejections and lower highs. Okay, so this we're gonna take because we have a strong bearish candle to the downside. We have structural levels here. We can see the change in bias. We're looking for the market to continue down now in a downtrend. So let's move this over here. Let's go for our one to two risk reward ratio trade. And let's bang this out. Oh, we be sitting in this for a very long time, baby. Very long time. But anyway, that's not the point. I think in the live markets, we'll be out of this trade by now. Oh, we're definitely out now. Okay, so another win on this one. And we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more trades to take. So the market is clearly to the downside. So I'm looking for those selling opportunities. I can see here now immediately price is failing to break above, but I kind of think we've missed this trade because it's sideways. So, all right, let's just wait patiently for the break below the structure we have a break below the structure now we're looking for those wick rejections or gap in the market so we'll just allow the market to correct itself for a minute there's a correction i feel good for this we have the gap the close of the gap the attempt to push up into sell by a structure wick rejection i know this wick is not the prettiest but again we're not here to take pretty trades we're here just to do the numbers so we're at trade number eight now this is trade number nine one to two risk reward ratio and we're still taking the trade in the direction of the market. We're identifying price failures break above. So let's continue with this analysis. Stop loss. Okay, fine. So again, let me just say this, even though it's a stop loss, I don't really care. The point is we did see here that this wasn't the best of candles to sell into. So sometimes it's best just to follow your gut. But let's continue with this. So at the moment, unless we break close above this structure, we'll still sell bias. So let's see what the market does. Okay, now you want to go down for this double top. All right, fine. So let's continue. Wick rejections. Nope. 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 This is going to be our last trade, by the way. Um, we have a level here in the market. This is strong into a push phase. Let's see the market structure at the moment. It's really, really extended. Um, okay, we're going to just wait for a pullback on this market. <laughs> and it plummets. All right, cool. Um, let's continue with this. So we're in a push phase. I'm expecting the market to exhaust. Okay, so it does. Wick rejections, wick rejections. So we're just taking a trade like this over here that lost. Taking this sell now is not wise after we've seen this information. So we're just going to leave it. We have a level created now. I'm just looking for those wick rejections. Again, the market is extended. Let's see if we break above the structure and close. We do. So now I'm looking for buys. Oof. Wick rejection, wick rejection not enough so let's see what we're doing here so we have attempt to break above again attempt to break above and failed so now i'm looking for sales if we start breaking below these structures here we do break uh we do break below this structure okay 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 so now let's see the correction on this market for a continuation up give me one more candle this is not enough the range is too big even though we may be going up it's too big so i need to see those wick rejections again now exhaustion phase on the market don't break below the structure we can still take buys we have one reaction we need another reaction again not enough okay so we're stalling out in terms of bullish pressure let's get the break close below the structure now we're moving sideways so we know what we're waiting for let's go one more candle down okay again failing to do so let's wait okay break below so now mm, it's not really a significant break below but there's a lot to suggest off the back of an uptrend distribution phase we could be going down so let's look for these wick rejections we're looking for we do have a retest at this level with an attempt to break in a failure and a close below low but let's wait for one more wick rejection and see what we get here 
Oh, come on. I feel if I take this, it's a cell bias without any bearish pressure. It does go down, but that's fine, whatever. Let's continue. Now we're definitely sideways. Now we have a break above. I can disregard the previous area in the market and I can just take this information as an accumulative area. We have our structural high. Now, most people will be looking for sales right now because the market is obviously coming off the back of an uptrend. They're expecting the market to go down. I'm not expecting the market to do anything. What I do know is what will happen next is we'll have a breakout either to the upside or downside. So we have a breakout to the downside. This is clearly sell bias. I'm looking for those sales. Give me wick rejections. Give me a strong candle. Nope, not enough yet. Okay, so as long as price doesn't break above this level, I'm good to go. We have one wick rejection. Give me one more. Not enough again. This last trade is uh, giving us jip. So, okay, we may be changing now to an uptrend. So let's take this trade. Then what we can see is the market structure is broken. We have the two wick rejections here and it looks good for a buy. Um, where is the entry? In and around here. Again, we're going for our one to two risk reward ratio trade. So we're going to have our stop loss below structure and then go for the one to two. This is trade number 10, I do believe. So let's see what happens here. Next bar, nice push to the upside, don't go down. Okay, final TP, pretty good. Okay, so let's mark that down as our final win, one win. So let's crunch the numbers here on this. Um, we have taken, over here we've taken 10 trades. Um, we've had six wins. We've had four losses. That is a 60% uh win rate with a 40% losing rate um let's say now we risk 2% per trade so for every win we took it was 4% so six wins that means we're now plus 24% with our losses we're now minus um 8% and then if we do the maths on that, we equal to 16% return. Let's minus some commissions and just go for 14.5% profit on 10 trades. Let's see if we've got the numbers right here. 10 trades, six wins, four losses, 6% win rate, 40% losing rate, 2% risk per trade, 24% at 4% win, minus 8% at 2% loss, 60% profit, minus some commissions, 14.5% are on 10 trades. So pretty good results here. And I hope this illustration really shows you it's not about having the perfect strategy. It's not about having perfect entries. It's not having the perfect stop loss placement. It's about executing, executing and executing, trading systematically, waiting patiently for those setups to come and stop focusing on the trade here and now. It's about the next 10 you take, 25, 50 and 100. If you're in this business to become a full-time trader, then you have to make sure that that's what you're focusing on. And as you can see, just from 10 trades here, this is a 60% win rate. Now this may go down if we take more trades, but what I do know was our risk to reward ratio was good. Our strategy in line with the direction of the market was phenomenal. And guess what? We took the trades when the market identified tradable opportunities. We never rushed in, we were patient. And when we saw them and they came to us, we executed. So I hope this was useful. And as I always say to you guys, if you do like the content, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care.